Okay, so this is an example of a digital mode, and in particular, this is one is called PSK31. Stands for Face Shift Keying, and 31 is the, the baud rate, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but this is another form of communication um, over the ham radio, and I'll zoom in here a little bit so you can see what's going on. So this is the radio tuned to the frequency. This is my interface between the radio and the computer. And it lets those tones that you can hear. Sounds a bit like aliens, doesn't it? Uh, come through to the computer here and decodes them for me. So I can actually read them like text. So I can get in here in a little bit. And down here is what's called a waterfall. They call it a waterfall. You can take your cursor and click on a signal, which is in these the yellow here. And then, as you can see, once you're centered on it, it it uh, translates it out for you. Pretty cool. And what's really nice about this type of mode is that you don't need much power at all I just contacted somebody in another country and actually I couldn't tell you what country it was I couldn't even pronounce it when he typed it out but he heard me just fine wherever he was and I was only using 15 watts power which is very low um, it's not quite what they call QRP which is very low power operation maybe it is I don't know but not very low on the QRP range um, but it's very efficient the, the type of I guess the type of mode this is is very efficient so it travels through the air very very well um, a lot better than actually voice when you talk into it so it's a pretty neat mode um, some argue yeah it's just like texting or you could just get on your phone and text yeah but that's not really the point um, this is of course one of the great things about ham amateur radio is that it's completely off the grid um, it's it's signals flying through the air bouncing off the atmosphere to and from antennas. There's no infrastructure, there's no grid, there's nothing. I mean, you can just plug in your radio to a battery and you can operate completely portable of the even the electric system. So it's a pretty pretty cool um, skill to have and pretty cool ability to have that you can you can communicate like that. Um, and of course if you have a computer you can get this kind of stuff going and probably er almost everybody has computers these days so um, that's kind of just a quick uh, quick glimpse at uh, a digital mode for the uh, for the uh, amateur radio uh, scene I guess so plenty of stuff online about it um, can always comment as well uh, about uh, about uh, the video and uh, if you have any questions whatever I can try and answer them for you so thanks for watching